let's build some snowmen with stacking snowmen. This game comes with these are snowmen. There are six pages, two pages for two four rhythms, two pages for three four, and two pages for four four. I've already cut these apart, so you have all of your hats and your middles and your bottoms. So these are all your two four rhythms. So um, for the really advanced students, you can get the two four ones, the three four, and the four four and like mix them all up together. But we're gonna start with the beginner students. So there are four different hats and you can just do one at a time if you want to and just have, you know, choose the hat you want and then put all the extras on the side. And then you have the middle and they can choose whichever middle they want. There's four different ones and two four. So there's quarter note with the rest two quarter notes, two eighth note patterns, and a half note. So let's say we're going easy. We're gonna choose another half note. Put all the ones on the side, and then you choose the bottom. So we're gonna say let's do very beginners, and let's say they only know half notes. So there you go. They've built a snowman with the half notes. So then you just count it from the top, middle, bottom. So you do one, two, one, two, one, two. And that's how you do it. That's how you build a snowman. So you can build several, you know, push this one up on the side. And then let's build some more snowmen. All right, so then if you wanted to do this one, then you could do, let's count all the snowmen. You start the first one and just keep going all the way down. All right, so ready, go. One, two, one, two, one, two. One and two and one and two and one and two. One and two and 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 so you can see with this one that you can mix and match and if your student doesn't know eighth notes yet, then you can just take out all of the eighth note patterns and they can mix and match with just the ones that they know, the quarter notes or whatever. So this is um you can use it for more beginner students. You can use it for students who know a little bit more. Mix and match. Take out the extra. And yeah, that's how you use stacking the snowman. That's for two, four. And same thing goes when you have three, four. So and, you know, you could just do it with like blind random and just say, okay, let's mix up all of the, you know, if you wanted to do it this way, you know, put them backwards and mix them up and then they just have to draw one and put it down. So you can either choose, you know, they can choose which one they want to go or you could do totally blind random. Really doesn't matter. Depends on how um, exciting your student is, excited your student gets with doing things they don't know or if they want to pick and choose. They can build one snowman like we did earlier or they could build all four or you can have four different students and you know build they can pick at a time and you have the first one pick ahead and the second one pick ahead and the third one and you can just do them like that and then you can all get all your students together if you're in a group and count them all so like starting with this one okay we're ready go one two three one two three one two three then whenever you come to this one, you might discuss, okay, do y'all want to count, do we need to count with ands? Or I guess if you did different patterns or whatever, then you could decide how you're counting it. And you get ready, set, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And so on and so forth. And you could do the exact same thing with the four four cards. And like I said, if you feel really ambitious, you can throw all of them in mix them all up your students have to sort them out be like okay well, here's a three four now we've got to find nope that one doesn't go that one's a different one there you go that's three beats so this would be a really good way to get them to figure out what's three beats or more or less that one doesn't go but look hey it matches here 
Ah, uh, that's another two four. So this one would be probably my preference is mixing them up and challenging the students to really know their rhythms and be able to match what is three four. So there you go. You've got a complete snowman right there. And then you can keep, you know, kidding all of your pieces that are all mixed up here and, you know, grab another head. Or if you wanted to or sort out just the heads and then just the middles and just the bottoms. All right, so then if you wanted to mix them up like that, and so I'm gonna stick all of the bottoms on the left, stick all the middles on the right, and we're gonna stick these up here. So then you can do this with one student or you can do it with multiple students. So first, they choose a head. Ooh, yeah, four, four, we haven't done four, four yet. And then, probably, I would probably do this where I would put them backwards and then they pick one. Let's, for sake of example, let's take one that's not the right one. <laughs> this one, okay, is that four beats? Let's count it. One and two and three and two. no, that's not four four. So we have to pick again. Okay, is that one four beats? One and two and not four beats. We have to pick again. Ooh, what about this one? One and two and three and four and perfect. So that one can go on the second one. Then you flip these guys over. One and two and three and two. Nope, that one doesn't work. Not this one. One and two and that still doesn't work. Ah, this one. One and two and three and four and there you go. There you've built your snowman. So this type of practice will help them to really know and be able to identify how many counts are in each measure. So that's one way I would personally do it as well as you kind of mix them all up and shuffle them and start building snowmen. And then once you have one snowman built, you can put them on the side and start again with another time signature and pick more middle sections, pick more um, bottom sections and complete more snowmen. So I hope you and your students have fun building snowmen this year.